Christmas tree Oh Christmas tree How lovely are the branches Welcome to window number five from our 2021 St. Mark's online advent calendar. Behind each window lies a daily devotion, focusing on the history and importance of a well-loved Christmas carol. Included every day is a meditation, background, scripture, prayer, and playing of the carol or Christmas song being examined. Hopefully this daily routine throughout the Advent season will draw you closer to God and to our Savior as we, once again, anticipate his arrival in Bethlehem. May you find comfort, inspiration, and joy as you hear each devotion and reflect on its message. Today's carol is O Christmas Tree. Today's scripture comes from the book of Isaiah, 60th chapter, 13th verse. The glory of Lebanon will come to you, the juniper, the fir, and the cypress together, to adorn my sanctuary, and I will glorify the place for my feet. The source of inspiration for this Christmas carol can be traced back over a thousand years to the old, dark Scandinavian winters. Were it not for the Vikings, it is questionable whether O Christmas Tree ever would have been written and if the Christmas tree tradition ever would have taken hold. The, the Vikings found hope and strength in the evergreen tree, which seemed to thrive even during the most stark and austere days of winter. Beginning with the Egyptians, Chinese, and Hebrews, the evergreen has been used as a symbol of eternal life. During the Roman celebration of Saturnalia, the trees were adorned with decorations and gifts. When the German mystery plays were popular from the 11th through the 15th centuries, the decorated tree was central to the paradise play about the Garden of Eden. One of the most common items associated with the Christmas season is the Christmas tree, or Tannenbaum, as the Germans call it. It was in Germany, in fact, that the custom of decorating the tree developed. Several de delightful legends abound. One has Martin Luther attempting to describe the beauty of the snow-capped forest to his wife and children, cutting a small fir tree from his garden, placing it in the nursery, and lighting some candles on the branches to imitate the stars. An even more beautiful story, popular among the German people, concerns a poor forester and his family. They were gathered by the fireplace on Christmas Eve when there was a knocking at the door. When the door was opened, the forester discovered a tiny child, lying half frozen in the snow. The family brought the child inside, fed and warmed him. He put him to sleep in one of the young son's beds. As the sun rose the following morning, the forester and his family were awakened by the singing of angels. In addition, they were amazed to find gifts and an amazing meal on the table for them. The young child had been the Christ child in disguise. As he left the home, the child broke a branch from the pine tree beside the door, set it in the earth, and told the family that forevermore, when the tree bore fruit, it would be his birthday. A 1604 manuscript mentions pine trees being set up in the homes of Strasbourg. Apparently, they were decorated with foil, apples, and colored paper. As a Christian symbol, the evergreen tree represents the living and unchanging Christ. The tradition of the Christmas tree came to the USA with the heathen soldiers who fought with the British during the American Revolutionary War. O Christmas Tree is second only to Silent Night among famous, recognized, and popular German Christmas songs. It is also likely that O Christmas Tree might have remained known and popular only in Central Europe had not Prince Albert of Germany married England's Queen Victoria in 1840. Albert brought the holiday traditions of his native country with him when he moved to Buckingham Palace, and then the fir tree became a worldwide symbol of the holiday season. The origins of the tune are sketchy, but some musicologists believe the song might have been written in medieval times. However, the lyrics were probably penned at a much later time. A barbarian composer named Mecklehor Frank lived in the early 17th century. In one of his songs, he borrowed an already well-established tradition in praising the humble fir tree as a symbol of the natural world reliability and predictability. The Thirty Years' War had devastated Coburg, where Frank lived. 
disease was rampant. Many died. Sadly, Frank's wife and two of his children died. He wrote a song, beginning with the words, Actanabom, saluting the tree branch, which stays green throughout the summer and winter. The tune first appeared in print in 1799 to yet another German text, Es Liebe Hock. Some 20 years later, August Sarnak took the folk tune and added new lyrics. It is believed he is responsible for the first two verses we know today. In 1824, Ernest Anschwitz added two more verses. Anschwitz, a theology student, gave the song a much more Christian bent. The song caught on in the U.S. in the, the mid-1840s. Interestingly, the state songs of Maryland, Iowa, and Michigan all use the ancient tune of O Christmas Tree in their official songs. Nat King Cole, Bing Crosby, and Aretha Franklin are three recording artists who have recorded the piece. Evergreens have long been symbolic of life and growth, and early Christians decked their sanctuaries with the boughs of evergreen as a promise of new life and as a sign of the hope that followers of Christ will live forever. Now pray with me. Eternal Father, we thank you for the many objects in the natural world that remind us of your great, eternal, and abiding love for us. The butterfly reminds us of resurrection. The dogwood recalls your crucif crucifixion and suffering. And the evergreen reassures us that your love for us is ongoing, never-ending, and eternal. Thank you for the inspiration in the pine tree, which is unchanging throughout every season. Thank you for the imagery of candles or lights upon the tree, recalling Jesus, the light of the world, as we sing this catchy, popular carol Help us listen to the words and remember how the Christmas tree is the embodiment of our Christian faith and hope. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.
on Comet, on Cupid, on Dandan Blitzen. Ha 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 ha.